there is trouble in paradise. There is trouble in paradise between uh, Frank Martin, uh, Coach Derek James, and, and even Errol Spence, Man Down Promotions. Frank Martin is the guy at Man Down Promotions. That's that's pretty much what, what Errol's banking on at this point. There's been, from what we hear, again, don't shoot the messenger. He's a very reliable source. Frank Martin's been upset about that. Frank Martin has been uh, throwing out the idea about going back to his original coach, two-time Indiana Golden Gloves uh, champ Ike Boyd and his father Frank also. So it's kind of a three-man team. There were whispers that Frank was wanting to go back to his his team. Here is where the separation came up of, of all of the news that's going out there. From what we've heard this morning, Frank Martin never negotiated that deal. It was Errol and Derek, from what we've heard, selling this as a package deal. <laughs> I'm going to train you. We're going to promote you. We're going to manage you legally. You can't do it. You know, you can't, you can't package it like that. But they heard whispers. They wanted to lock down this fight regardless of Frank. Frank wasn't involved. They thought a million-dollar payday would be great. He would love it. Frank obviously saw the agreement, saw the news, and said, wait a second. This is Shakur Stevenson we're talking about. If I'm going to go put myself at risk like this, I need 1.5. I need two. So that's where that came from, where he pulled out and where the dunk mania started. So, yeah, you can say, all right, he walked away from a million-dollar payday. But, man, you can't be mad at the man. He was never involved in negotiations from what we heard. This was Derek. This was Errol. You know, no Frank Martin, there is no man down promotions. Not right now, there isn't. If they know there's trouble, this is the part where I'm we're sprinkling in here. If they know there's trouble, let's lock them down for one big fight. Let's make our money. And if we part ways after that, at least we have the payday. That's how I'm interpreting the way that so. um and and that, and that's where we're at at the moment. And I and I think I think this is something that's good for Frank Martin's reputation because all day on Twitter yesterday, we've just been waiting and waiting and waiting to see what he's going to say. And he's been just kind of denying that, hey, it wasn't, the, it wasn't that I, didn't, I wanted 50-50. It's just he wanted more money. He wasn't involved in a negotiation table. Correa, that's what we've heard. Correa, what are your thoughts? And plus, you heard me speak on this when it came to the Earl Spence uh, versus Terrence Crawford. I was like, was Derrick James giving Earl Spence his best? Was he tired? Uh, did he have the, the right game plan? Was he thinking about the other guy game plan? And with Frank Martin, basically he was getting the short end of the stick, JJ, where he wasn't getting the type of attention that he needed. Because if we could be honest, yeah, you may not have Frank favored against none of them guys, but Frank is a, a strong, strong contender. Another thing. If Frank Martin is what man down promotion, they number one guy, why wouldn't you involve him in the negotiations? Why wouldn't you tell him what direction you're going? Why would you sign, seal, and deliver a fight without coming to him and letting him know uh, everything that's going on in the contracts, the litigations, and everything, why would you do that and come tell him to do that? And another thing, Jay, you got Frank Martin, legitimate. I, I look at him as even being more legitimate than Ryan Garcia. Facts. Why would you bring Ryan Garcia in when you already got Earl, Anthony Joshua, Frank Martin, now you bring in Ryan Garcia? Who's a, it's going to take all kinds of distractions, focus off the fighters. One more thing, man. And again, we're piecing this together. I know there's going to be a whole bunch of Errol Spence, Derek James fans. We're here right in the heart of Dallas. We know what it's like. We're not here to smear anybody's name. We're telling you what we've been notified. And, and this is legit because I'm going to take it back to an interview that uh, we had all things boxing working as a correspondent for the spit bucket interview with Frank Martin in April. Who do you want to fight next? Uh, I'm, I'm ready for whoever. You know, uh, Can we go <laughs> Tank, Ryan, uh, Devin, Shakur, uh, Williams, Pay. It's just, you know, just giving giving opportunities. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, 
Reason I play that man is because, look, Frank Martin is a man. He's a man. He's a fighter. He's been public about ready to fight the big fights. It doesn't make sense that he agreed and literally the next day said, never mind. Everybody was saying he agreed because he was trying to get out of the purse bid, which would ultimately force him into it. But that's not the Frank Martin we know is a fighter. The Frank Martin we know obviously saying, I want them all. Why would you be running your mouth? If you're just going to pull out of the fight that you just secured, it didn't make any sense.